Kurtzberg here for 1495 Sports, and with me is Shante Evans. Uh, Shante, a couple of uh, big honors that you've gotten this year. First, you are now the all-time leading scorer in Hofstra history. What does that milestone mean to you? Um, it means everything, you know. Hard work pays off, you know. It's been my main goal going to college is to leave my mark, you know, just like come, become a program changer. That was, was like my main reason of picking a school. And the other uh, honor that you've earned, you're now the first member of your family to graduate from college. What does that mean to you? And also, what do you think it means to the members of your family? Uh, I mean, it means everything. You know, that was the most important thing of picking a college to get a good education. You know, my parents are very proud. You know, I have two other siblings at home, so definitely have some of them to come to. Coach, what have you seen as far as the development of Shantae's game over the past few years? Uh, you know, I tell you, she, um, you know, she's come in with, with extreme skill, as you know. She had great hands and feet when she, we were recruiting her, watching the things she could do better than other people. But she's, she has uh, had like a total transformation, whether it would be physically to lose weight, um, you know, to take less pressure off of her knees, to make a commitment to what, you know, the extra time she spends in getting shots up, increasing her range. You know, it was funny when, you know, if I had more luxury, she literally could play several positions on the floor. I mean, she could play the three very easily if we, uh, you know, it was funny. And I, and I knew after freshman year, I was like, maybe we can make her a three, but she's so valuable around the basket. You know, you can't take her out of out of that as aspect and that she does so well. I mean, she offensive rebounds one of the best in the country. So, you know, but just to watch her physically get in better condition, to, um, you know, increase her range on her shot and then just to get more heady and be much of a leader. That, that's what I've seen now in this last year and this second go around of the second half of her senior year is like now she, she's, you know, she knows a lot and people need her help. And I think she sees that on the floor now that, you know, her help coaching the players and the young players on the floor is going to help us have success. So I've been really pleased with how she's had a, a total development. And, you know, now that you have this, this all-time mark, it, I, I would expect when your career is done, your, your number will go up in, in the rafters. What, what would it mean to you to see your, your number and name up there? Um, I don't know. That's a, that's, a big, that's a big thing. You know, uh, I got my jersey retiring in high school, and just doing it in college would be amazing. And actually, actually do it so early, I'll be probably bawling my eyes out probably. <laughs> <laughs> Leadership is a big part of your role on this team this year. What does it mean to you to be a leader? Um, you know, as a senior, you're four years. You know, I have a lot of experience on the court. Uh, you know, I came in freshman year again a lot of time. And it's going against different teams, you know, you know, different teams from different conference. You know, just being a leader, just helping the younger ones step up, you know. And make it what makes her such an effective leader on the court? Well, she, you know, 100% that she does lead by example is no argument. I mean, yeah, last night's game, yesterday's game proved that. You know, we had a struggle at JMU. Um, you know, it was just needed more needed more leadership on the floor. People were having a tough game. Some of the things that JMU, you know, was doing, but the crowd, every other thing affected us. And I think she, face of that opportunity, she knows that she could give a lot more. And so every day in practice this week, she's just been, like, just rising up. And, and that's how she shows. I mean, taking more of a command on the floor and, you know, just not – like, if someone says something, she knows it's wrong. It's, no, we're going this way. You know, so it's like that. That's not who she is, but it doesn't matter. In a time of need and time of adversity, you have to really – shape yourself and adapt to many different roles and that's what she's doing. And, and I've noticed over the course of games this season that you do call on her to play a number of different roles depending on yeah. the circumstances. Yeah, I mean and I think this last role here of really taking the team under your wing completely is like the, the most important one and it and um, you know we don't need to you know we're gonna have more adversity we're gonna suffer you know things that happen but you know we have to learn from that quickly and I, and I you know I'm priding myself on this team being different you know than other teams but so different means that you really know how to battle you know how to battle when you feel overwhelmed and you know and we're, we're clawing to get that you know I mean last night wasn't easy uh, um, for so many different emotions of, of coming off of, of a tough one you know at JMU so just proud of them being able to bounce back and you know, get get a get a win on a really a tough situation last night with a team that was one and seven. You're always gonna those guys are gonna play you tough as nails. I mean, everybody's fighting to to get their team back in track.
you, you talk about being a senior. How do you think that you've grown as a player since your freshman year? I think I definitely mature. I think I got my game got a lot better than my freshman year. You know, freshman year I was out there young and just shooting the ball. <laughs> you know, senior year I feel like I'm I'm more calm. You know, I know more about the game now, so I definitely feel like I'm a better player. Any particular area you think you've improved most at, or? Uh, definitely, probably my jump shot. Definitely my jump shot. It's been like my main goal every year is to improve my jump shots because I keep getting double teamed down there. A any particular opponent who has given you the most trouble over the last four years? Um. Biggest challenge. Biggest challenge. You know, I would say JMU and Delaware is probably like my biggest challenge. Why? Personally wise. Uh, just because they match up height wise and you know. Uh, the physicality they give me, you know, is always a tough one. Tell, tell fans out there something perhaps that they don't know about Shante Evans. Wow. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, she is a homebody. You know, I think that, you know, I don't know if you look at her and might think, you know, she's boisterous in a class count. She's the opposite. She's, um, you know, honestly less attention not an attention seeker at all and uh, you know just like a, a quiet leader so I don't know people might not see that to how strong she plays on the floor um, very caring like everybody hears this role of her talking about the things that she's accomplished but she'd rather be on the team and be a team player and be involved you know do those great numbers but okay and then just go back to work the next day you know it's like that that's really who she is and it, it's hard for people to maybe totally believe that because she's accomplished so much and she has to talk about it and speak about it and say things, but that is not who she is at all. Quite humble, quite humble, and uh, you don't usually get that trade out of your best player, and it, it's been fun. I know I've been blessed to coach somebody that talented that doesn't take too much extra from you. Um, so I know that's – I can't brag enough about, about that quality of her. But, you know, homebody, real close to her grandmother. You know, Carol is uh, near and dear to her heart, and it's been – awesome for me to really get to know the family over the years and Carol's come to a bunch of games this year was here for her graduation so very family oriented and uh, just a very uh, gentle person and a gentle soul. And, and what does she mean to this program at this point? Uh, you know it goes I mean obviously the numbers will speak for itself but everything like that to have somebody I don't know if you'll find someone like Shantae to follow in the footsteps for a long quite a long time um, they just don't make them like that, you know, very often. You know, it's like once in your coaching career in your lifetime. So, um, you know, you we've taken the, enjoyed the best. You know, we, we'd like to be going on their senior year. You know, uh, hopefully we turn this around. We're 6-2 and two in conference now. That's all we need to focus on is just chipping away every one of these conference games, getting ourselves double-digit wins and, you know, giving us a chance to play in that final for her, you know, because we had a tough schedule and she had to – do it alone a little bit in the beginning while you're bringing the young ones along. And so, you know, you hope that we can end, end out with something strong for her because it means a lot for me to her senior year and, you know, for her to go out with, a, you know, with a bang. Thanks, Coach. What advice would you give to young girls who are aspiring to, to play college basketball? I mean, you got to go out there. If you want it, you can do whatever you want. You know, um, I always wanted to be a basketball player since I was young. You know, that's been my goal, and I just went after it. And uh, as far as you're concerned, your legacy, how do you view that here? Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I said, you know, I came here, and, you know, I wanted to leave as one of the best, and, you know, I think I, I laid the ground for that. What does the future hold for you? Do you want to play basketball beyond this year? Uh, yes, I want to have basketball taking me as far as I can. And uh, WNBA is a possible? Definitely go pro, yes. And, uh, well, good luck with that. I, Thank you. All right, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.